Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Illustrator Scripting Quick Tip Tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how you can export artboards to files, which just basically means individual artboards into individual files. So with this simple script we're going to create, you can say take something like this with three artboards and we're going to export these to our documents folder. So we just have to run it and what it's going to do is save an Illustrator file for each one of these and we can load it up and see the individual artboard that was exported. So we're going to be writing a simple script that runs through all the artboards and exports each one of them which you can do in a variety of formats. Before we get started with today's video I do want to remind you down below hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel and down in the description you can download the code for this on github follow us there also in the description you can follow us on instagram for other live updates. If you haven't joined our discord server come and join us and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And if you want to help support us on YouTube as well as get cool perks at the same time, become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. So we're going to get started by creating a new script file and just dive straight into this. We're going to first create a variable for our document that's open with our three artboards here, which is just going to be our app.active document. We're going to assume that it's open inside the program. Then I'm going to grab all of the artboards which is actually almost a global object uh, so we can just grab uh, a name like artboards or we can say these artboards because the way we grab it is actually by saying dot artboards so let's not get too confused we'll set this equal to document dot artboards and we need to spell that correctly let's go ahead and start off with an alert I'm going to alert these artboards just to make sure it's valid here. And you can see we're getting an artboards object. The next thing I'm going to do is loop through all of these artboards with a for loop. We can do this by starting with a variable at zero and we'll increment it until it's less than these artboards dot length and we'll increment I by one. And now each time through, this is going to take us through each of the artboards. What do we want to do? Well, first we want to set it to be the active artboard. If I hit uh, control zero, it'll take me to my current active artboard, which I can change here. And uh, we basically want to go one by one. And each time we get to a new artboard here, we'll export it. And we're going to be using the illustrator files because you can use simple properties to change it to export each of our artboards. So now what we're going to do is set the active artboard uh, to be whichever one we're looking at in this loop. The way I'm going to do that is calling document.artboards.setActiveArtboard index and we want to give it the index of the artboard to bring up front. In this case, I'm just going to say I. And now if I run this starting at number one, we should end at, at number three actually, which it doesn't actually update the view, but down here updated this number to three. So, so if I'm at artboard one here and I run it, it does go to three, but it doesn't visually update quite yet. But having this as the active index is just what we want. And it's also something powerful in the future you can use. Now we need to create a new save options. So I'll just call it uh, new save options is equal to a new illustrator save options and this has a bunch of super useful properties which we can use to export uh, artboards automatically as well what i'm going to also do is create something called our ai doc or our illustrator document and this is going to be equal to a new file uh, in whatever location you want i'm just going to save mine to my documents i'm going to call it artboard and then add the number of whatever artboard we're on so artboard one two three etc for however many you have then a cool thing i can do is grab my save options and say dot save multiple artboards and set this equal to true what this allows me to do is instead of just exporting all the artboards at once it's going to allow me to export multiple um, and now what we can do is also provide a range or ranges of uh, artboards to export so i'm going to say save options dot artboard range and since we're just doing one uh basically file per artboard i'm just going to grab i and say dot two string and since i starts at zero but our artboards start at one i'm going to say i plus one uh two string now lastly we can save our document by saying document dot save as and we're going to save it as an ai doc using our save options. So the first argument of save as is the actual file to save it as, and then the second argument are any of the options you've selected. So now when I run this, we should run through each of them, end at number three, and if we look in our documents, 
where we've saved it, we now have an individual artboard uh, file for every single artboard we had, which contains just that artboard inside of it. But that's going to do it for this week's quick tip, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit thumbs up. Down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And again, down in the description, you can download the code for this and the GitHub link, and you can follow us there as well. And also down in the description, follow us on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not a member of the Discord server, come and join us and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more. And you can also join the YouTube channel as a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. Get cool perks and help us out financially. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.